Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how you can use Alpine JSX in it and we are going to build a practical website. So the website that we are going to build is going to show the live user information and also the location on the map that they are using. So the, here is the example I have already built and I'm using Telvin CSS for the design of this, but you can use any library you want. So this is the location that I am currently here. So if you refresh or any location you visit, it is going to show you the map as well as your address, your IP address and all those information. So we are going to read those information from an API and we display it in the uh, browser. So you will learn a lot about like Alpine JS in a practical example. So let's start. So far we have learned about a lot of directives X show, like we have learned about binding, text, HTML, model, and transition. So in this video, we'll learn about X init and also some other directives. So I hope you get the idea of how those directives are going to work. The important part of X init is that it is going to run when a component is, a component is initializing. And it is really important, like in the beginning, when the component initializes, you don't have the data. It is a great time to grab data from an API and then you will have the data. So that that time you can use X in it to send an Ajax request to a server to get a data or do anything you want. You can do a lot of data manipulation inside the X in it. So uh, since I have already built this example and if I check out the code in here, this is the code. I'm going to remove everything from here and we will start from scratch and I'll show you how we can build this one. <clears throat> So if you check this one, I have only like AlpineJS and Tailwind in here. What I will do is I'll open um, my browser and in the tailblocks.cc, this is an, a component I can use. So it is hard coded. I'm going to copy everything from here, copy to clipboard, coming to the code editor. And as you guys requested, I'm going to increase the font size. So everything is visible. I'll paste the component in here. If I open it in the browser for now, and refresh it. So far, the, all of these informations are hard coded. Now it is also showing a map in Turkey. So I'm going to make that one dynamic also. So it should show exactly the user information. And the Alpine JS is open here. We don't have any component. The first thing we do is create our component in here. So we'll use X data and X data will have a component. Inside this one, let's create a property called location and the location by default will be null. So when the user refresh, I want to get the user location uh, from an API and store it inside this location object. For now it is completely like null. So here is how you do this one. We will use X in it. So I will use X in it means when the component initialized you are going to do something. You are going to send a request to a server and to get the data. So here I have already showed this public <coughs> API to you guys and YouTube channel. This GitHub repo, it is very popular. It has all the public APIs that you can use. For example, if I come here, I have used the geolocation to get the user uh, information. So which one I use is um, this one, free geo IP. It does not require in a lot of like effort to do this one to, if you open it and here is the endpoint. All you have to do is send a get request to this endpoint and it will give you all the information about the user, the IP address, latitude and the city, a zip code and everything you need. So this is my location and it is going to show those information here. So I'll close it. And how would you do this one? If you come check out like X in it, they, are, they have an example here. So it will initialize, it will call a function when it initialize. So here is an example that they have. You can send an Ajax request to the server, which they have uh, using await and fetch is also available and most browsers support it. So it is not a problem to send an Ajax request with, with fetch and we can assign it to a post which they have this example. But for us, it is called location. So I'm going to copy this part and we will come here. This is our X in it. I will hide the sidebar. So let's do this one. We say location uh, is equal to 
uh, we are going to use await and async so it should uh, run the function asynchronously and the location will be based on this information I'll copy this URL and instead of this post we'll paste it here and it is also going to create that to a JSON since our data is JSON then the location will have the JSON information now let's come to our application refresh it we have one component now you open it let's see the location is an object and it has all the information I need that was simple right very simple Ajax request we got it and we stored it in the location object in here now is the time to display it properly in here now Google map is not open anymore now we cannot use Google map without having the um, the unique API key so in this example they use the map.google which lets you do this one and using this iframe now the only thing you have to change is this one the number and also the business name so if you replace this one with any location for example if i say if i hard code this one and say sydney i save it now this a uh, ejmir i don't know ejmir should change to sydney now now this is Sydney and I can zoom out a little bit you can also change the zoom uh, value here now it is like 14 if you make it 10 10 is like how wide it is going to look at this so less number means uh, it will be easy to see that we are in the Sydney location this is the Sydney location and <laughs> it will display those one now since we have the information we can display it in here also so let's come down in here so since this is okay I forgot to display this one dynamic now we hard code this part in here let's make it dynamic so how would you do this one we can bind value in this one you we have learned about X bind in the last videos but the short form of that is this colon so you can put colon and it is going to bind the value for that one so how we are going to bind this one let's use a string interpolation in here uh, we can use this uh, stress or I don't know what is the name of this one so in JavaScript you can use a string interpolation means inside this one you can write JavaScript as well as a string at the same time so instead of this one I'm going to write a JavaScript variable to get the location from this location object so you will put a dollar sign uh, followed by this parenthesis uh, and now in here you will put your uh, uh, the name of your variable so it will be location dot let me check to make sure okay let's get the time zone in here Sydney Australia so we will put uh, location dot Sydney Australia now I will put it here and save it this time the, the information should be dynamic you see this is Sydney here now if I refresh my page it is still going to show me dynamic data so if I change my location here I have a map let's connect from New York City so now I am connected to New York and let's refresh the page it should show me another location oops it is still Sydney Australia let me see if it is not getting the correct information yes it is still showing Sydney Australia in here now let's check out the location and yes it is reading from here I think my VPN is not working properly but it is connected to New York and uh, maybe the API that we are using is very smart so now it is showing yeah now it is showing New Jersey so let's come back in here refresh this one I will do a hard refresh yes now it is showing a New York City in here so that's fine and it is showing properly so I will just disconnect my VPN so that way my internet speed is faster now this is dynamic now the map behind this one is dynamic now you can display the errors also so if I come in here we can always uh, replace this one with uh, X text so the X text is also we can put a a string interpolation in here but you have to put it inside the double quotation this time in here so what I'm going to do this uh, for this one uh, just quickly um, I want to take the let's say the city first and then the region name so I will come here and say dollar sign dollar 
location.city and I'll put a space in here oops location.region name and this should show the location.region name now again I will refresh this a hard reload so it should grab my new information being so new south wales in here so yeah this is showing a proper information now instead of email address i can use ip so since i do have access to the ip and you can even you can just just do not replace this one you can write a v text it is going to replace the text which is the email address so in here if i write location.ip you can check uh, by default it is email you refresh it after it loses this information oops i have an error so i'm going to show you cannot read the property time zone city and ip so let's remove let's say location that ip now let's refresh again if you are getting this error this error in here it is because the data is coming after the, the page is loaded so since we are sending an ajax request it take a few milliseconds to get those information that's why the time zone and other variables are not available that's why we have this error like city like region these are not available to fix this issue it is really easy all you have to do is wrap all of this inside a condition so we can use the x if in here i am going to put it inside this template just quickly put it in here so we can avoid that error now we can use x if and if location is not equal to null if it is equal to null do not display this information if it is not equal to null means if we have the information then that time display this information now we don't have those errors so the error is fixed instead of phone number you can display other uh, user information that's up to you now that is not the only thing we have to learn about x in it and that was just the basic example so i'm going to show you other things also in here for example x ignore x ignore is also useful you have a long document you don't want uh, alpine.js to scan everything for example in this example that we have built we don't want to scan this part so we can completely use the x ignore that way alpine.js will run much faster so we can use x ignore in here x ignore means uh, Alpine will not rent, like scan this part of your document. This is a short part, but there are some long documents that you don't want to scan. So you can use X ignore on those part of your application. Now we have the X clock. Now this clock is useful when the data is not loaded yet, but you don't want to show anything until the data is completely loaded or the component is completely initialized. So you can assign this one to a data, for example, that you have in here and it is going to hide that one so you have to put this one also in your css it will hide it until you have this one so once the component is loaded this one will be removed and your information will show properly so that is something like vue.js also has and that's very important and you also have ref think of ref as document that query that that query selector okay they also have mentioned this one you have a document the query selector in which you can use in pure javascript ref is similar to that but instead you will put uh, instead of having an id you will put a custom reference then you can uh, access that reference inside a component we will use this one again in a practical example but that was all you have to know and you have x effect of for it is another important part x effect is like a watcher uh, imagine you have this component uh, that um, you have like the location if you want to see if the location change do something you can use x effect s effect will run anytime this data change any of this data we will talk more about that one and x watch we will compare both together in the future videos but that is all you have to know for now i hope this video has been informative and you learn about how you can send ajax request with fetch how you can use x in it and we, um, we will build more practical example of Alpine JS in the future video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.